Hi students, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, transformations in the coordinate plane. First thing is to realize th is that any point on the coordinate plane is defined by its x and then its y coordinate. So for example, point E, the x coordinate, if we follow it up, is going to be 4. And our y coordinate, if we follow it to the left, is negative 4. So if we're talking about the point 4, negative 4, we are talking about point E. Second thing that we need to talk about is if we want to translate something. So translating a point simply means taking the point and, and moving it, uh, sliding it, if you like, is a, is a term often used. So if we were to take point E and move it to point C, we would take E and we would move it to the left and we'd move it one, two, three, four, five to the left and then to get up to point C we would have to move it up one. So we could tr describe the translation of E to C so E to C as left five and up one. And we can describe the translation of the point. The second transformation we actually look at is called a reflection. With a reflection we need a line of reflection. So we're going to take point A and we're going to reflect it and our line of reflection is going to be this red line and that red line of course is the x-axis. So when we reflect something, when we reflect, reflect a point in the line of reflection, we want to take, we want to take that point and we want to have it move through the line of reflection at 90 degrees. So if you can imagine this point A going at 90 degrees onto the other side of the line of reflection, an equal distance. So we want this line here to be an equal distance with a point out here. The easiest way to do that is to actually count the number of spaces. One, two, three, four, five. So if we go out five spaces, one, two, three, four, five, our new point, and I'm going to label it A prime, is going to be the same distance from the line of reflection to A as from the line of reflection to A prime. So the point is the exact same distance on both. And the line of the reflection is the key part here. The final transformation we do is a rotation. And with a rotation we need to select a point of rotation. So we're going to choose the easiest one for this one. We're going to take our point of, of rotation as being the origin, and this is called the point of rotation, and that's about the origin. And we're going to take that point of rotation and we're going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. When we rotate 90 degrees, Imagine taking your compass and you're going to take your compass and you're going to turn your compass 90 degrees. So imagine this going in an arc. In other words, we could take a line going to the point of rotation and we could rotate that whole line 90 degrees. When that happens, point B is going to land here on this point, which we'll call point B prime. So B goes to B prime when we rotate B 90 degrees in the point of rotation, which is the origin, or point zero, zero. So to recap, we look at the three transformations that we study in grade 7 on the Cartesian plane, sometimes called the coordinate plane. We have a translation, which is simply moving to the left or to the right and up. We have a line of we have a reflection, which reflects through a line of reflection at 90 degrees. And then we have a, a rotation, which has to rotate 
around a point of rotation. And those are the three transformations we look at in grade 7. Thank you.